smack that baby. We did it. We timed it. You want to shut up so I can do the intro? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Welcome back to Welcome the show. Welcome back to the show. The... Whoa. Sorry. Don't you dare. Don't you dare try to hijack this. You already left me to do a podcast by myself. Yeah. Yeah. The boys are back. Solo. Though. Yeah. The yeah, are they back. are. I went solo. And what did that br- where did that bring you? Back to me. Huh? <laughs> Could not live with your own failures. Where did those bring you? Right back to me. Oh yeah. Oh, hydration. Bro, your boy's thirst. you I mean, not thirsty. I am thirsty, but your I'm, boy's I'm pretty- throat is killing me, bro. Really? Had, is it allergies? I don't know. It was something going around that I've gotten, like just throat wise. Luckily, ah, it's not COVID. like all the other stuff. Yeah, not that, <laughs> not that pandemic. Come on, man. <laughs> you can't, you can't <sighs> get me now, baby. Yeah. No, I had like uh, a weird allergy thing. I think I'm allergic to uh, Southern California or something because every time I stay in a hotel room, I get like plugged up and I have a sore throat. But now Sunshine I feel fine. State. Sunshine State. I think so, right? Is that what California is? It's a Sunshine State. I think they, yeah, they call it Sunshine, Golden, Sunshine. It goes by everything. Yeah, the Golden State, I've heard that. Golden State Warriors. Right oh, there. that's right. I thought that was a college team when I was younger. I didn't know that the Warriors, I thought the Warriors were a new team. Really? When, like, that year that they had a really good run and, like, their first, like, one with Steph Curry and all of them. Uh-huh. Like, I was like, yo, this team just came out of nowhere. When, it must be new. And then I found out they were like back all the way back to like the 70s, 80s. Yeah. When I was younger, I was like, man, so this is like a good college team that plays in the NBA, huh? <laughs> yeah. I almost drowned uh, on Monday or Sunday. I, had, I thought I was going to have to swim home. My car almost sank. Wait, what? I didn't tell you this because I wanted to save it for this. Um, yeah, so I'm driving home from school and it's dumping rain. Okay. Uh-huh. And so I'm like, it's just normal. So I'm like, I'm driving, I'm driving. And then I'm going to get on the freeway and I'm behind this big truck. Luckily, I was behind the big truck because I probably wouldn't have made it out of there without that big boy. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm going. And then all of a sudden, it caught me off guard. And all of a sudden, I'm like submerged in water for a while and I'm floating for a good five feet i was like oh boy <laughs> I was like, your boy's gonna have to swim right was it because that's how yes dude because we got like oh. I think it was like eight, eight inches of rain or something like that and so <clears throat> yeah and i was like singing and then luckily the car in front that truck and the truck just gassed it so he was creating some way or like some he was part in the red sea so yeah. i can get my car down and then i just sped right behind him um so there was that, yeah, and I, I, and then I'm driving home, and all I see it's like 20 cars just all the way home, just cars off to the side with their emergency lights on. I'm like, geez, looks like the apocalypse right now. I could barely see anything. That's how hard it was raining. <clears throat> uh, dude, did you peck a life vest at least? No, I, I need to get one though because you know, I thought I was something in the car, prepared man. for anything. I wasn't. I need maybe like a boogie board, maybe a canoe. Oh my god! Yeah. Yeah, your boy yeah. was your boy was worried. It's getting yeah, it was pretty rough with the weather for a couple of days. I came back right in it. I, I know. Like, yeah. Damn. Went from went from SoCal to this. Yeah, that's rough. But uh, you know this this it's like that typical white woman that went on uh, brains and they say ah we needed this though. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> no, the grass thing, needed this. The new thing now is when somebody says we needed this, somebody comments and goes. Well, I mean, don't get too excited because we're still in a drought and this isn't yeah. going to last long. And you're just like, come on, just enjoy it for a little bit. Life's about moments. Just enjoy the moment. Now, I never understood the whole drought thing because obviously, <coughs> yeah, a little tickle in the throat. Uh, obviously, I've seen like the pictures of like things drying up like during the drought. Mm-hmm. But wouldn't if there was a drought, wouldn't there mean? There would still be water, though, because think of our sinks. Think of all the bottles of water. We still got water. Mm-hmm. It's not going anywhere. I'm pretty sure you can make water, too. <laughs> that might not be scientifically proven, but I think. Mm-hmm. I think. I, I think the one thing that they're very concerned about in California, I think, is in our area, how dry it's getting. I think the rest of California, they're like, what are you talking about? It's always dry here. But our area is getting like more dry and stuff like that but 
I don't know about the making water. That one. Yeah, I don't know. Fact checkers prove if that was true. I think not. some voodoo can get with that, but then that's when things get weird. If you're making your own water, you're practicing the dark arts with that, dude. You got to be careful. Okay, what's your best? What's your best? What's the best tasting bottle of water? Um, I I just I and go if, for. And if you uh, say what, if you say something, I'm gonna slap. I'm gonna reach through this camera and slap you if you say the wrong what's, answer. What's the water with the electrolytes in it? Propel. No, not propel. I think Smart Water has it. No, it's a. Uh, oh, I thought I had a bottle around. It's like in a weird bottle. I forget what it's called. It, ha- it has like a plus sign Fiji? on it. I think. No, not Fiji. No, that's Smart Water. I'm pretty sure. Is the plus? Is it? I don't know, but I thought okay, Smart Water was the worst skinny tasting one. ones. Dasani, Arrowhead. oh Arrowhead. Yeah, and Crystal Geyser. Those three can suck it, man. Those Dude, there's something the in the Sony waters. too that makes you like keep wanting to drink it though, even though it's bad. I think they put something in it, like they put something in Coke. Yeah, because I've heard that like all bottles of water are the same. Like all of them are the same. They're mm. not because those three no, taste like a doo doo diaper. Yeah, I don't know what it is about Arrowhead, but it is awful. My grandma used to buy a lot of Arrowhead when I was there, and. Like I, she still does. Whenever I visit, she still got packs of Arrowhead. Mm-hmm. Oh, that water is just, it never, never clicked with me. Oh, dude. No, it tastes disgusting. And see, you're down there in the good old sack. So you got some good water, huh? No, dude. My, I don't drink out of the sink, dude. The sink That's is a so smart gross. idea. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what it yeah. is about. They say it's, it's like filtered really good, but I don't, I don't think so, man. It's filtered it taste shit like stream. It. Yeah, dude, they filter it through like somebody. It's just somebody's towel that's hanging up right there. That's how they filter it. They just yeah. put it at the end of the pipe. <laughs> Have you ever? Uh, did you ever waterboard yourself like in the shower when you were a kid, like with a rag, like be, like put it over your face and go like this, and like yo, I can do this. I can, I can survive this. <laughs> uh, I can't say I have. I'm I'm gonna I, I, go out on a limb and say you have. Many, not even when I was a kid. I do it now. Just waterboard yourself in the shower. Yeah, it's fun. What? <laughs> Are you okay? Is no, like you should be worried a, about. Yeah, no, it's it's fun. I mean, you should give it a try next time. Next time we're in there, just throw oh. a rag over there. Man, I don't know about that. That seems like I'll do it for you. Let me say that. I don't. Know, I only have like a couple <laughs> minutes of my shower because my water, the water heaters, like lasts like maybe. 10 minutes hot so oh thanks. i hate i hate did, so if, i don't know how like i don't know the age gap between your siblings but like i've been in a house with like multiple people and then like you end up being like the last one to shower and mm-hmm. there's just zero hot water that's the worst feeling oh yeah dude no it's especially in the, like when my brothers come up and stay with us it's definitely hard you have to wait like a good like maybe an hour before you get to shower next yeah so it's like a process if you want to might as well not even bother showering you know because i only i don't shower to get clean i shower just for the sensation of hot water (laughs) i could go for a good like mildly cold mildly warm i could do that but i can't do like straight cold that's too much i gotta be sizzling bro i gotta be toasty see there's nothing better though than being in a really hot especially like with (sighs) rainy days or cold weather I did it. Really I did shower. it on Monday, dude. I can't oh, I because I still have yet to shower in my apartment. Still keeping that record going. Well, Not it's a record, yet. huh? Yeah. So I just showered the school and Mondays because it's our day off. But I'll go like mm-hmm. get a workout in and then <clears throat> got the showers all to myself, baby. <laughs> hot, <laughs> hot water, maybe a little dancing. Who knows? <laughs> so, Hoping yeah. nobody comes in to look at you. Oh yeah, You're just having a party for one, and they're in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I have something for us that I want to discuss. Let's get after um, it, pal. It's not new, but it's recently surfaced um, again. I I remember hearing this scenario like probably four years ago, um, but I've just never really brought it up. And then all of a sudden, it's like starting to get big back on like TikTok and social media. Good old TikTok. So it's a scenario. It's mm-hmm. called the immortal snail. I don't know if you've heard of it. So it's the scenario is, would you take $10 million 
mm-hmm. but for the rest of your life, there's a snail that's trying to get you. And if you touch the snail, or if the snail touches you, you instantly die. For the rest of your life. So there's this, how far away is the snail? I'm just, let's just say it starts like a couple yards from you. A couple yards, and you have to stay like, so it doesn't speed up, keeps going like the same pace that it's at. Yeah, it's it's a normal snail. It's not like, a, but it can't die though. That's because it's immortal, so it can't die. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, but a normal normal snail attributes. Uh, so if I get money and I move away from the snail, I'm good. It, I mean, if you take it, you get ten million dollars. But the snail. You start right by the snail, and if that's and that snail's whole mission for the rest of your life is to come after you. And if it tags you, you did. You See, did. first of all, I'm putting a little tracker on that snail. I'm gonna have somebody put a tracker on that thing. Track then it. I'm moving, I'm moving across the state, and like every 10 years or so, however long it takes that snail to come, I just keep moving back. Keep moving back and forth. I got 10 million dollars to blow. So you're going you're going across the state, not even the country. No, dude, I'm going up and down the state. Because I was thinking, like, maybe go. Where is it? Um, let's let's how, like how fast snail... is a snail? <laughs> That's the Snail's question. Let's fast, see, man. Snail speed. <laughs> let's see how fast. Let's see how fast these bad boys can go. Point go zero three miles per hour. So what is that? That's like okay. And one that's mile. on a good day too. Yeah, so on, on one mile. That snail's feeling good. He's all stretched out, ready to go. All right, here we go. To go one mile for a snail, mm-hmm. it takes 33 hours. Oh, so, okay, yeah. I'm good then. One mile. So, yeah, I would say I'm taking that money uh, no mm-hmm. matter what. I'm taking that money. Mm-hmm. Even if that oh, snail yeah. was fast, I'm still taking it just for the – just and I mean, <laughs> it's a snail, man. So even if like you get close to it, you could like just go around it, dude. You can put. I mean, you can. You don't even need to put a juke move. You can literally take one step to the right, and you're. Past. You could step over it if you really want to. Oh, <laughs> how big is the snail? How big of a snail are we talking? Like human size, normal size? I'm assuming it's just a normal snail, just a little guy. Oh, dude, then that's fine. Maybe you can have somebody like put hits on it too, even though it's immortal. Like step on it. But it's you can't kill him though. You can't break him. But you could break down his his uh, mentality, you know, because then he's gonna be defeated. Oh, yeah, that's the goal of this. I would, so the here's what I would do. I take that ten mil. Okay. Mm-hmm. Instantly, I'm starting here. I'm starting in Cali. Okay. I'm getting on a plane, and I'm going to Paris, baby. I'm going to Paris. Okay. Oh, that's actually a good idea because they can't across swim, the country. Can they? Well, they they can. They'll they'll end up getting there at some point. Uh, but they'll like, find a way. They'll travel by boat or something. How far is Cali? From? They'll take a lift over to you, dude. Yeah, shit. What if they get on the plane? Yeah. What if how they're like far right is Cali next, from the whole plane? Paris? Like, you have to keep jumping back and forth, trying not to touch the snail. Okay, so it is. Oh, they give me kilometers. I don't know kilometers. Okay, yeah, here we go. Dude, how many hours is, is California to Paris? <laughs> So on a plane, it's an 11-hour flight. Okay, so Oof. 11 hours, 11 Good times Lord, 33. That's like a, whole, a whole day. 11 times. I'm not even going to attempt to do this math, but I have a feeling that I could live uh-huh. for like a good like 20 years, I would say. That would be a safe guess. 20 years before that snail even lands in Italy or Paris. Um, so, yeah, yeah I'm taking that money. That snail ain't going to get you, dude. No, You're but fine. what's funny is because this came out a while back and mm-hmm. all of a sudden now it's circulating on TikTok and it's like it was they did a scene from John Wick where the guy's in the hot tub with like the girls and uh-huh. all of a sudden it looks and it's John Wick walks through and it has like it's labeled as the snail all of a sudden like in 2045 <laughs> like you forget about it and then all of a sudden the snail just comes creasing through <laughs> yeah see that's the only mistake like you're going to be sitting there one day and that snail is going to creep up on you yeah, you gotta, you know, that's that's what I I think would be my problem is I'd forget that this this thing. Yeah, dude. And then one day it's just gonna catch me by surprise, and 
But even if then, like, even if it cornered me into like a room, you jump, jump over it. I jump over yeah. it. You know, well, you could pull, pour some salt on it too and run. You slow it down. Like yeah, a make them all flizzy. Yeah, dude. I would. I would probably hire someone to guard me in my sleep because I feel like that would be the only chance that snail's touching me. Ooh, what if you're like in a locked room though? But I feel like a snail could find its way in. Yeah, I feel like they got their ways. You have to abandon the. Sl- See, when does a snail? So, if a snail loses its shell, does it become a slug? I think so. I don't know. To, I've right? seen some slugs that are like the size of my hand. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what. Can they <coughs> lose their shell without dying? Yeah, I've I've crushed a lot of snails in my life, and <laughs> I bet you have, dude. Even as a little kid, I remember pouring a little salt ring around, and they can't mm-hmm. get out. And I'm like, you're literally Ooh, in see- prison. That's what you could do to it to make it not. No, but off. see, this is different. That's not anymore. No, this one is in this scenario. This is a snail is that he, even if he you put still salt feeling in pain him. though. That's the thing. Yeah, but he's his one primary mission in life is to touch you. Well, I mean, the, uh, snails don't got a lot going on, anyways. Like, what else are they doing with their lives? Even if they're not trying to kill you. Putting. Have you ever had a snail get in you like your house and leave it on the carpet like his little tracks? You know what? I haven't seen a snail in so long. It's been a while since I've seen a snail. To be honest, I haven't seen one in a long time, too. I haven't Are seen they one still since around? I was like younger. I, I mean, they, I get, I think. They might be extinct. Nah, they're still Because they don't do anything but like bite leaves, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, and they're super slow. Slime the, up. Way our fa- our, the way our life is moving so fast, they can't keep up. Not a chance. Not a chance. No, okay, would you do this scenario? $10 million. But it's a person coming after you. But the person starts a mile away from you, and the person can only jog, can't sprint, can jog. Hmm. Now are you taking that money? I mean, it would have. I would have to get some security. I'd but if you start everything. hiring security for the rest of your life, that's probably going to cost you more than ten million dollars. I assume it's going to yeah. add up. Yeah, and then you got to then you got to realize he's immortal. What is it? He's immortal too. Then, so yeah. See, that's when it gets trickier. You throw a human into it. I still think I would take the money though. I got it too. Because even if, assuming that can this guy travel, can he get on a plane or Mm -hmm. some sort of thing where he can get over to me in a like across the country Mm -hmm. Um, because even if that I still think if he's jogging I still think I would I don't know because that would just be a stressful life that would be a life on the what if you made a deal with him you guys split the money halfway and then you give him money to stay away from you then you got yourself a whole different situation dude then I only have five million dollars dude I can blow that in two days yeah that's yeah see this is the amount of stuff, amount of stupid stuff I would buy with five million dollars. Now, what if you hire somebody just to keep a guy in one area? Like you just talk to him all day. And once him. once again, you're gonna do that for the rest of your life. You're gonna pay. You're gonna have to pay that dude five million dollars, seven million dollars. Oh, man, yeah, this is getting tricky now. Hmm. I just feel like that would be a stressful. Think of just think of my mission. I just come after you. <laughs> for the rest of your life you're always on yeah, the run because i'm constantly going after you and you'd get you'd get better over time like if i dodged you once yeah. then you'd be like okay and you'd write things down you'd look over your notes you go look, to places buddy. that i'd like to travel it'd be perfect look, buddy i love you and i'm gonna be honest with you you're not dodging me if we come close oh dude <laughs> I, even, even if i'm jogging i'm, I, I'm gonna I butter my way i'm gonna butter myself up and i'm gonna <laughs> sneak through places I'm going to get real limber. I'll stretch before you come after me. Yeah. Start dude, taking, that would like, be the other thing. What if you get injured? What if you roll your ankle? Now you're, now you're a liability. Now, now yeah, that person has a chance. Dang, man. I don't know what your solution would be. I think you're done after that. You just have to call it. You just have to say, I rolled my ankle. My life's over. Or I like buy Air Force One and just have people fly me around until I'm peeled. <laughs> Ooh, that's another one. Yeah, that's a, that's a tricky. That's tricky. That's weird that TikTok is picking it up. 
And why get, why'd they pick a snail? Like a snail out of all things? Well, I just don't think they thought it through because if you did the math, it's like we did the math. If you mm-hmm. go across the country, you're living most of your life before that thing even gets close to you. And then what do you, and then if he does get close to you, you get on a plane and do it again. And then you're probably going to die before he gets there. Yeah. See, see, they didn't think this one through. This is is easy situation. Easy. Yeah. Now, or you just lead that guy into like some dangerous area. So then he has a real fight to go through to get to you. That's what I was saying. I put one of those like fake floors and he walks and falls right into it. Oh yeah, dude. I would home alone my house. Oh yeah, just make straight home fun. alone, everything. Cover him in Speaking I'd cover him home... in tar or whatever. Yeah, that's a, that's the grossest scene, and then he steps on the nail. <laughs> yeah, oh, that hurts. A uh, little psychopath, huh? <laughs> yeah, McCauley McCulkin. Coley McCulkin. That guy, that guy had, went through some phases. <laughs> yeah, now look at him. Now he's clean. Nobody Came, wants. Yeah. Now he's getting stuff, but he now he's not as cool. People don't really talk about him as much. Oh, yeah. Good for him. He's still, do, for he's him. still out there though. He's still, str- he's still thriving. He's still yeah. getting after it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of Home Alone, uh, mm-hmm. I saw the new Halloween. Did you? Not yet. Is it good? So. I've been waiting for this movie since 2018 when the last one came out. Oh, that's right. It was 2018, huh? Yeah, I know. That threw me off, too. I was like, geez, I was right fresh out of high school like, yeah, dude. when that movie came out. But, uh, yeah, so I've been waiting for it. And not the greatest movie. Really? Damn. It had, but what, what made it good was it had a lot of good kills. I like good kills. I like mm-hmm. some good gore. I like creativity in the kills. It had some good kills. The acting, on the other hand, Not very so disappointing. Good. And the uh, whole kind of storyline, just how they kind of did it. You'll see it. When you see it, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. That wasn't great. But there is going to be one more. They're making another one that's going to be a sequel to this one. <sighs> so they have a chance to redeem themselves next year. Because it's gonna come out a Halloween next year, dude. They've remade so many of. I feel like the only franchise that could get away with it is like <coughs> Scream, because Scream doesn't take itself serious. All right, don't. I already know you hopped on this bandwagon. You this weren't is not even a, a bandwagon. Dude. That was the first horror movie I ever watched. No, it wasn't. Yeah, as it was. Yes, You've it never was, mentioned pal. Scream. You've never mentioned Scream one time. You could go all back the years of. Our- on our last episode, like our Halloween one that we did when we first started, you did doing not this, mention Scream. I mentioned Scream. Mm-mm-mm. I did. You could go back, uh, 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 find sister. it, and I will send it to you. Yeah, okay, I, I'll bet you ten bucks. I'll bet you ten dollars. I'll Venmo speaking, you right now. Speaking of spooky things, I did a Halloween event yeah. by myself. Yeah, and I tell you what, that was one of the saddest been that nights scary. in my life. It was pretty <laughs> scary, but it wasn't like. I don't know. I was just like, this would be fun if I was with somebody. Like, I was supposed to go with somebody, and then I ended up going alone. And I was just like, I, I mean, I'm already here. I'm gonna do it. That's peak. That's peak, bro. Your peak, peak. Yeah, <laughs> you're in your peak of your life. I Don't mean, do a there were, were there alone. people, were there people staring at me weird because I was going through the house with them and I was by myself? Yes, but you walk, you're walking, you're walking by the kids, hey, what's up, kids? My third time going through tonight. I felt I just looked at my phone the whole time in line because these people kept turning around like, is this guy by himself? That's and, the I, worst and, then I, and then I would act like I was just like looking for somebody. Like I was like, like I was like, ah, someone's supposed to come with me. But I booked it, so <laughs> the, the scariest part was before I booked a hotel. And Your trip advisor? No. I went yeah. on Google, and I looked at nice hotels in the area, and it's not a good area to start with. It's Boyna Park, but uh, this hotel popped up four stars. It was talking about it was a family hotel. It would take you to a shuttle to the pl- to like the uh, Knott'sbury farm it would take you to like even Disneyland like it was advertised as a family hotel rooms look nice yeah booked my room went there checked in kind of went through the room I didn't really look at the room when I got in there I threw my stuff down I left (sighs) so then nighttime I take a lift over there I get over there 
and there are some creatures outside of this hotel. I tell you oh, what, boy. it oh, was boy. like, it was like there was a scary event going on at this hotel, and I was like, "Are you kidding?" Like I was like, "Okay, this is a little shady, but it's the area. Good thing I don't have a car here." Yeah. I go to my room. I notice when I'm shutting my door, my door's not shutting all the way. And <laughs> I That's notice creepy. that it keeps like popping up. So I have to like latch it shut. And I'm like, all right, whatever. Like, I'm just sleeping in here. I'm looking around this hotel room. There's a giant hole in the carpet. Like somebody like cut out like the carpet. There was, I went into the bathroom. There was pubes all over the ground. Oh my the, God, that... the drain for the shower was disgusting. <laughs> there was the paint was chipped. I was like, what the hell? I was like, are you kidding me? I went out to where the beds were. I pulled up the sheets. There was hair on the sheets. The <laughs> sheets were stained. And the bed, the bed felt like a uh, it didn't feel you know how like hotel beds are like they're kind of nice. Yeah. Like they kind of feel like this one, Typically. Felt, this one felt like it was like spring, like it was a gross mattress. And I was like, oh, are you like, I was like, are you kidding me? I'm sitting there and I'm like debating, am I going to stay here tonight? I hear yeah. right across from me, there's these people fighting, like a couple fighting, <laughs> door wide open. They're like throwing stuff. There's like loud noise. And I was like, what is going on? And so I'm like looking through my people and stuff. And like they're like full of like yelling at each other. I'm watching like these people walk by through my peephole too, and I'm like, "Where am I staying?" I was yeah. so. And then all of a sudden, cops show up to the room next door, and they're talking to these people. And I was like, "Do I stay here tonight?" I was like, "The counters in my room were all sticky. It was so cold in the room. I wasn't. And I I called my mom, and I was like." I don't know what to do. I got. I was, hey, like, was your mom in the same hotel? No, they were at a different hotel because I. Why didn't you book hotel. it with them? Well, they didn't go to the event with me. I booked a hotel near uh, Knott's Berry Farm. Oh my god! So I called my mom. I was like, I don't think I could stay here. I don't know what to do. I have all my stuff in a bag. I was like, I don't even know if Knott's Berry Farm will let me in with my bag because I have just a bag full of clothes and like. I had like my razor in there for my face too. And I was like, they won't let me in there with that. And so I panicked the whole that I'm late for the event already. And so I'm like, are you kidding me? So I have to go down to the hotel and I'm walking to the lobby and it's just like creature after creature coming out of the bushes, like sketchy looking people. And I'm just putting oh, my head down walking and I go to check out. And I was like, is there any way? Like, I was like, I didn't use the room. I was yeah. like, is there any way I could get a refund, and she was just like, "I, I don't, I don't know, probably not." <laughs> oh my and I was god! Like, okay, well, I'm just. How much did this room cost? Me. Okay, so here's the other thing about this <laughs> that I should have saw as a warning sign. At online, it was advertised as 115 a night, which is pretty yes. average for like the, like the hotel. Like it was, I was like, okay, it gave me an online discount. That was like 70, like it got dropped it down to $70. And I was like, oh, that's a pretty good deal. That should have been a warning sign that I was only paying $70 for this room. <laughs> and so I, it was just, I was panicking the whole time. Finally got the Knott's very far. Well, first of all, my Lyft driver, I took a Lyft. Have you ever taken a Lyft? I've never. I've, I've so wanted this, to, like, I've never done Uber, never Lyft or anything. I wanted to. Yeah, this was like my first time, like, taking a lift and like my lift over the guy was really cool we just talked about like sports and whatever the guy that i get in the car with i'm like hey how's it going no response oh i'm like all right there's a pair of keys back there i'm like hey there's some keys back here he just puts his hand doesn't even turn around puts his hand behind and just i'm like all right. Wait, puts I his put his hand behind for what? Oh, for wait, the, the keys that were sitting. This? Yeah, for the keys that were sitting there. So I was like, "All right." I just gave him the keys, sitting there in silence, and he was like, "Where are you going?" I was like, "To Knotts." I was like, <laughs> "It's literally right," and it wasn't that far of a drive. I didn't want to walk because yeah. it's a sketchy area, 
And I was like, right. And he's all, I don't know if I could get you there. And I was like, what are you talking about? You can't get me there. He's all, <laughs> not your job. Yeah. He's all, I don't know if I could get inside uh, to drop you off there. So I'm just going to drop you off at this bank at the corner. And so I was like, <laughs> okay. Yeah. I guess if you can't get in. So I get dropped off at this bank. I walk up and I'm finally there. And I'm like, they're going to check my bag. They're going to check my bag. I go, they don't check my bag. And I was like, yeah. all right. First win of the night. Here we go, baby. I'm already like two hours late to the event. I go. Wait, to- so hold on. Did you go to Knott's Berry Farm alone, alone? You were no, the only. So during the day, I, my family went and I went oh, with okay. them. And then I was okay. like, okay, I'm going to stay for the night. But I didn't book the hotel room until that day because I was trying to get to stay because Knott's Berry Farm has a hotel. So I was trying to stay there. I called and they were like, we're booked. So I was like, ah, so I just went with the second option, which was this nice, nice hotel that was for family. Didn't see one family at this hotel. <laughs> there was like people living there. And so I went there and I went to go get in. I scanned my ticket. A big X pops up. And I was like, are you kidding me? And my mom got me the ticket for my birthday. Oh, and he's God. like, it says it's a 2022 pass to the event. And I was like, do not tell me that this was the wrong <laughs> ticket. And so there's a line building up behind me as I'm talking to this guy. <laughs> and I'm like, look, can you try it again? And he's all, yeah, yeah, it's still popping up. I started panicking. He's like, just go off to the side right here. And like, I was panicking, trying to find the email with the ticket in it. Like I was asking him, I was like, are you guys sold out for tonight? Like, is there any way I could buy another ticket? And then it turns out the ticket was fine. I got the wrong thing scanned. I finally got in there. The place was crowded. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't. I only got to do like two houses because they were over an hour wait. I, I couldn't Whoa. even get food. I couldn't even get a drink. Everything was an hour long wait. And so I was just by myself at this event. I ended up having you know fun because i was like okay you need to have fun like you're here <laughs> but dude it was the most stressful night of my life and i was like i don't know if i want to go alone anymore i was like I, this was a bad idea yeah that's it's a little uh going to an amusement park alone <laughs> as a 22 year old who looks like he's 37 <laughs> dude i mean <laughs> little the couple red thing, flags that pop up. <laughs> the good thing is, is it was an, an adult event. So, I mean, okay, at least That's I wasn't good. around a lot of children. Except people bring kids, which is a little weird to me. <clears throat> but, yeah, man, it was, a, it was a rough start to a night. Oh, I haven't been to Knott, Knott's Berry Farm since probably like 2006. <laughs> yeah, this, this was like, I've been to the scary farm that they do, but I've never gone during the day. So it was fun going during the day. But then when the event was closing, my phone got drained because it was looking for, you know, service the whole time. Oh, yeah. And I was like, are you kidding me? So I was like, all right. So I was going to do one more house. And the line was like two hours and the park was about to close. And so I was like, I made a decision. I was like, you know what? I'm I'm not going to do this. I'm just going to go try to find a lift to get back to the hotel. I... (laughs) It was a nice on, ass hotel. <laughs> yeah, I was on 10% on my phone trying to find a lift. It's like two in the morning, too. Yeah. So like parents are asleep. Everybody's asleep that I could contact, even if I tried to. My battery's about to die. Lift drivers are just dropping as I book them. Book them. They oh, drop. No. Can't <laughs> driver said that they're not taking it. So I'm just going to drivers. My phone is on three percent and I am panicking. Because my lift kept saying that I was in Arizona, that I needed to be picked oh up in Arizona. God. And I was like, are you kidding me? And I just, I'm watching my battery drain. <laughs> I look like a psycho because I had to, and then for some reason it said my location was down the street. So I was like, whatever. So I'm like in the bushes too, like in front of the road, trying to book this. And like, then finally my driver's coming. He'll be there in a couple, like 10 minutes. And I was like, my phone's not going to last. Like, I'm like, I'm going to be stuck here. I was paying. I was like, I don't know what, should I ask somebody for a charger? Does anybody have even a charger? And so I see these cars coming and they both have lift stickers. I jumped in the middle of the road and ran <laughs> over to one of them. And I was like, I was like, is this for Reed? No. And I was like, are you kidding me? This car comes <laughs> driving and I just jump in front of it, waving my arms. And I was like, 
Is this for Reed? Finally, it was for Reed. Phone's at 1%. Oh. And the Lyft driver was probably the nicest Lyft driver I had. Gave me a charger to use in the back. Talked hey. my ear off the whole drive. Like, it was, it was like the best part of the night. Because I was like, man, I was like, I was panicking. He was like, you were there by yourself? I was like, yeah, it's a long story, <laughs> man. Like, oh, yeah, it was a rough, rough Jeez. time. It yeah, was a bummer, hotel. man. Your hotel is gross. That's funny. Dude, you know, and I'm taking like, blue light to that thing. And, <laughs> dude, I would not. I didn't even sit on the beds. I was like, I'm getting out of here. Like, I'm going to go so stay you, with my parents. Oh, okay. So you did you get, you, so you didn't get a refund? Nope. I tried emailing. 70 bucks. No down email back. Yep. No email. <laughs> it was a back. fake email. <laughs> yeah, probably. The, and then I was like looking at reviews because the top of the reviews, it says like really nice hotel, very clean, like love this place. And I was like, that's so weird. And like, even my brother, like I was texting him about it and he was looking it up. He's like, the first couple reviews say good. I start looking down in there. There's like half a star and it's like, do not bring your family here. <laughs> like somebody's like, we found this syringe in the parking lot. There was a picture of one of the rooms. Somebody booked a room and opened the door. The room was torn apart. Like somebody destroyed the room before they left. Motley they Crew stayed leave. there the night before. Dude, it was like, yeah, people were like, don't stay here. Like, people were saying that their windows were open. Bro, and that's like, so, that's, see, that shit scares me. Yeah. They're in like a, a scary ass hotel. And it's like, you don't know. Mm-hmm. Like, dude, you look in the bathroom window and there's probably someone looking back at you. Through yeah, the that's, other side. and I was like, this place is creepy. And I was like, the only plus side of this place was they had like direct TV. And I was like, that's nice. the only thing you guys got here. <laughs> that's five stars right there. But no, I remember calling my mom and I was like, I'm so sorry. I cannot stay here. And she's like, that's completely fine. You're by yourself. Like, this was, this was a good call to make. Because I was going to try to ride it out. I was like, I'm just going to ride this yeah, out. I'm going to sleep here. on the ground. Yeah. Well, the reviews also said that there was bed bugs there. So oh, my God. Bed bugs there. What's this hotel it, called? It is called the, be- the, mo- the Best Inn. I will. F- I'll find it. I probably still have it on my search. Uh, yeah. Let me look up Buena Park. It pops up as one of the <laughs> recommended hotels. Hold on. What's yeah? What? So what? Where is it? I want to. I want to see the reviews of this thing. Buena Park hotels. How do you spell Buena? <laughs> Hold on. Oh, I got it's it. Bu- it's so how do you spell Buena? B U E N A and then Park. Buena Park um, Hotel. Yep. All right. What's the, what's the hotel's name? I'm looking for it now. Right now, it's not even on the top anymore. I should have stayed at some of these places that are on here. Yeah, I'm looking at the Radisson. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, I was looking at some of them when I was. I mean, even just a classic Holiday Inn, ninety-one bucks. That's a steal. <laughs> <laughs> what's it called? Is it even best listed host? Anymore? The best host hotel. Look best at, host okay. inn, and then it says Disneyland and Knotts because they advertise the shuttle. The shuttles looked gross. They looked like a like they were in creeper vans. Like there was no, there were no window vans, and I was like, "Ugh." Let's see it. Best. What was it called? Best. Best host inn, and then it says Disneyland Knott's Berry Farm. <laughs> host inn. Oh god. It has three point seven stars. Oh, uh, here we it's, go. It's rated as a two star hotel. Jeez, where's the reviews? Let me see some of the reviews of this bad boy. Now you got to go deep to find the real reviews because there's a lot of them that are like, "This was a good so, room." Right away, gives a <coughs> three point seven, which is not bad. It says the mm-hmm. service is a three point five, location three point two, room. Yeah, yeah. Now we're getting to two point five. Um, yeah, the top review is great price. The best thing I used. <laughs> the breakfast was very very nice. Um, all right, here we go. Oh, here's a one. <laughs> a cesspool. Gang members paradise. Filthy room smelled like mold. Closet carpet was wet. <laughs> Bathroom window lock broken, allowing entry from alley. Everybody paid cash. Dangerous for children. <laughs> for average hotels, you'll see those. Like, you'll see reviews where they're like, room is dirty. Like, typical hotel ones. When you see the dangerous for children, that's a red flag. So here's another one that's funny. He's like, this person, 
I was so disappointed in this place. I stayed here a couple of years back and it was amazing, but my goodness, I have no idea what happened. <laughs> Walking around the carpet, my feet were black. The sheets oh. were not clean slash replaced. It had some kind of hardened jam on it. Ooh. Not to mention the AC system leaked ever. Such a shame how horrible it got. <laughs> Dude, it was honestly the worst. Like, I've been, I've been just like some pretty like, like bed bugs in room 109. I've got nine bed, bu- bed bug bites on my body. Heads up, <laughs> everyone. But everything else was great. I had an amazing time. <laughs> the cable service and everything. <laughs> besides See, the, nine the cable bed bugs. service, that's where they get you. The cable service. <laughs> no, dude, and it was dude. Like the parking lot was gross. Like trash everywhere. Like there was people just like hanging out. Like just talking and i was like what is this like where am i staying yeah dude the it whole it funny. was oh yeah dude the carpet looked Just... gross there were spots on the carpet everywhere and if you look at the pictures like you could find the pictures of the rooms they look go. nice the, bath- the bathroom floors had dirt and hair from other people everywhere the towels had people's hair in them we wanted oh. a refund because we paid we paid 500 plus for this disgusting place, but they refused to give us a refund. <laughs> I would never be staying. There are stains in the curtains, and everything is very old and dirty. The rooms are super small. I hope people don't stay at this hotel. Dude, we were given the wrong room, booked two queens, and got one qu- one king. <laughs> Just so happened that the room we were given had a leak in the ceiling that dripped on us all night. <laughs> In the morning, I got notified. The staff left for the. <laughs> In the morning, I got notified that the staff left for the day. <laughs> I asked to move rooms, but it was denied. Asked for a refund, which was denied. <laughs> Dude, I should have known too when I when I went into the lobby. There, it was like some young guy. There was like rap music playing. He's like, "Sup, man? Booking a room?" I was like, "Yeah, I already got one." Like he, he, like the chick was the one who was like kind of like th- she didn't seem like she knew what was going on. I was like, "Can I get a room?" She's like, "Yeah, I don't know." <laughs> I was like, "All right." Yeah, hearing I'm seeing a lot of reviews and people are like, "Yo, this was our favorite place to stay when we went to Knott's Berry Farm." And they're like, "We have no idea what happened." And they're like, "I heard all the first room we were in noises, including people having sex coming from what seemed to be from the parking lot, blasting music." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even with the lift driver that dropped me off, he's like, "Are you sure this is your room? Are you, are you staying here?" I was like, "Yep, uh, yep, got a killer deal." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got, I got a killer deal, man. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, goodness. it was awful. And then what I got a, what a trip. And then I got got damn roasted in line by these boy in a park, freaking <laughs> little sketch rats. I was wearing a Disneyland <laughs> sweatshirt. Rats. And she's uh, all, oh, Disneyland, huh? Yeah. It's a sweatshirt. She's all, oh, yeah. Well, you think you're too good for us because it's more pricey? I was like, no, what? I'm here, aren't I? Like, I'm here. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, man. And then oh, she didn't get, she got mad because I made a comment because she had a rat tail. <laughs> oh, she was yeah, that says all I need to know. She People call, have rat tails me, who are just disgusting. She was calling me a Disney fanboy, and I said, Who's the fanboy here? You have a damn Padawan rat tail. And then she went, Yeah. And it turned around. I was like, Oh, that's where we're ending the conversation? I can't say anything back? Yeah. No, and then, then you come home to get roasted on your own podcast by this solo guy. <laughs> Yeah, but the old J. I see a clip talking about that. I'm just drinking, pushing kids out of the way. A rough week for me, man, huh? Yeah. Your brother got married. It seemed like you had a good time. I saw you dancing all over the place, sweating yeah, all that, over the place. No, that wasn't a good time because after the wedding, I tried to get some Denny's. I mobile ordered Denny's because it was right next to us. And I got it for my brother, too. We go over there all of a sudden. I walk in, staff is very rude because they're just sitting there, tables are up, and she's all, we're closed. And I said, I did a mobile order like 45 <laughs> minutes ago. And she's all, you did a mobile order? Yep. And then she was like, is this your bag? And I was like, is my name on it? And she's all, what's your name? Reed? No, nah, this isn't yours. And I was like, where's my food? And she's all, yeah, I don't know why uh, your mobile order went through. We're closed for the night. I was like, 
it says 24 hours. <laughs> and she's all, yeah, we're close. I don't know. What, I'm sorry. I don't like, know what yeah, to tell you. Yeah, it's a typo. We're, we got to get out of here. And then I'm like, <laughs> is there any way? Because I got food for my brother and his family, too. And I was like, just pay me back. Like, I'll just put it all on my card or whatever. I was like, yeah. is there any? Because it was like 63 bucks. I was like, is there any way I could get a refund? And she's all 63 bucks at a Denny's. Yeah, well, because he's got a kid, he's got a wife, <laughs> and then it's me, and then it's him, and then plus I'm a big guy and I was hungry. <laughs> yeah, it was and, a late night Denny's run. You got to spend at least 20 a piece. And so I told her, I was like, can I get, is there anywhere I can get a refund? She's all, you got to call customer service, then they got to send something to us. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> so I got back next morning, had to call customer service. The lady was like, they told you they couldn't make your food. I was like, yeah. She's all, it says it's 24 hours. I was like, I know. That's why I'm calling to get a refund. And she's like, Someone's that's just fired. really strange. And she was all, yeah, so we'll get, uh, we'll send something to the manager. He'll give you a refund. It'll take about like five days, four days. I was like, are you kidding? Just to get a damn refund, you can't just give me my money. Just give me a couple, three 20s. Yeah. <laughs> three 20s average. Yeah. I just man. wanted some dinner. What an experience, huh? What a, what a trip. Yeah. I was just, I couldn't win. Couldn't win. Uh, what do you say? Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's wrap There's this up. 70 something in the book. Lost count already. No, oh, yeah. Read. Where can they find you besides uh, pushing over kids at Knott's Berry Farm or, uh, you know, staying at a, a Motel 6 with bed bugs and <laughs> semen all over the covers? <laughs> I would say lower than a Motel 6. This thing was disgusting. Yeah, geez. Uh, you can find me here every week, baby. Except for the weeks where Justin just roasts me about <laughs> pushing kids over. You bet you yes, I did. Uh, you can follow me, JJ underscore man underscore 20 Instagram, Twitter on TikTok. Go follow this podcast on Instagram at the show underscore with the junior. Uh, go like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, the show with JNR. Like and subscribe. Tell your friends, tell your folks, tell your family. And your boy needs a cough drop. Well, let me tell you that. I'm about, to, I'm about <laughs> to pop like three of those bad boys. Oh, yeah. But, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. We'll see you guys next time. Boop.